and then I had the first um, first MRI scan on my neck and the neurologist said I want you to go back and get an MRI scan on your brain so I don't think it's MS but it might be and that second MRI scan showed that I had very few lesions actually sort of two on my brain and one on my neck um, and so I started beta fear on at that point and I was 37 so I was very quickly diagnosed, March 1999, because I got the diagnosis in the morning and my dad died that night. So it's unfortunately one of those days that probably in about June or July after the diagnosis, about four months after, I found that I couldn't go out to the letterbox and I couldn't do anything. And I was crying all the time and I went and saw my GP and just started crying. Uh, and he put a box of tissues in front of me and said, you're the third person today who's needed the tissues, you're not alone. Someone on Curmudgeon's Corner put up a story about uh, Mind IQ and it was one of the research papers where it showed that, and it was independent from Mind IQ, it was a university, might have been the uni in, in New Zealand, I'm not sure, um, and the, t the trial had showed that uh, Mind IQ had reversed MS in some rats and whilst we all kind of go when I come back in my next life I want to come back as a rat or a mouse because I'll get cured of this bloody thing um, I thought this is interesting enough to maybe give it a try and so I sent off for it and there was so that came through from one of the budgeons I think in Canada and he put the story up and three of us reacted and it happened to be three of us in Australia and uh, myself, Joe down in Melbourne and Chez down in Mount Gambia and so it's interesting going back because I have gone back through my posts at that time saying okay, I've been taking it now for 10 days uh, not quite sure, I don't think it's my IQ but I'm finding that I'm not falling asleep and uh, and then things like you know okay it's been three weeks and I'm finding that I can straighten out my arm easier and the spasticity is a lot less and then you know it's sort of like okay it's been six weeks in I'm not saying it's the mode IQ but this is improving and then after three months I'm, I'm putting up I'm pretty sure it is the mode IQ and this has improved and my energy levels have improved um, and my sleep patterns had improved and things like that. No, look, I think energy level is the biggest thing. Uh, energy level, balance, uh, just that willingness to get up in the morning and do something. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, say, oh, let's go down, and, you know, go uh, to the park or let's take these guys somewhere. It's just more like, ugh. <laughs> so I'd say that's probably the biggest thing is the energy level. Uh, and the willingness to, to actually get out and experience things and do mm -hmm. things. Uh, it's uh, Without it, it's much more, uh, look, I just want to stay at home. I want to just kind of, yeah, not mm. do much of anything. After about um, 10 days to 14 days, if I don't take it, I'm guaranteed to sleep by about 3 o'clock. Um, and then restless for the rest of the night. But uh, certainly taking it, I don't have any... Um, huge hesitation to be social and yeah, go out at night so. and all that sort of thing um, it gives you a baseline you know it treats something at such a fundamental level that you sort of feel like you've got a foundation and there's something you can build on it doesn't cure anything I mean I'm certainly not cured of this crappy disease but I at least feel I have the potential to maintain a, a significantly decent level of health and a, an, an okay lifestyle living with the thing and I don't think when I've been off it and it's probably twice in three years that I've sort of skipped it for a period of time I do notice the difference it's not like I've skipped it and nothing much has changed it does change and then when I go back on it I do improve so it's kind of uh, yeah, it just seems to give you that baseline to work off. You know? It's a, a better foundation than without it. There's no foundation. It's like foundation on quicksand without it. At least it sort of puts a bit of a solid block under you to 